I'm an ultra runner. I've been involved in the sport for a few years. Um, I'm in a position now where work takes a big portion of my life and I have a limited amount of time I want to train. And what's really important to me is that I try and continue to achieve at a, at a decent level and try and progress and actually be more effective with my training. Been on the treadmill uh, for three separate tests, a running a physiology test, a VO2 max test, and then um, a few minutes in the heat chamber at 36 degrees, 75% humidity. Three, two, one. There's the submaximal test, so that's trying to understand at different intensities and different paces how his physiology was um, reacting to that. That helps us create training zone tables, it helps us understand what intensities he might be able to sustain in his longer runs or his performances that he's trying to go towards. The max test is finding that top ceiling of his physiology. Again, another puzzle piece in what his physiological profile looks like so that we can build a picture of how we can help him train towards uh, those training goals that he's got. Great job. <laughs> the final stage was going into the heat chamber, giving him experience of running in a temperature similar to the event that he's going to go to in Thailand, so very high humidity as well as the temperature being up above 35 degrees. Understand sort of what that feels like, how his temperature, his core temperature would change, and therefore how he could look to prepare for that before he goes out there. Out of the testing that we do, we can give them a real gauge of where the current fitness is, and then look at what their objectives are for a race work out what the gap between those two are and then try and match training that would support you know, that move towards their, uh, their race goals. So that will vary on an individual basis, but using our expertise and the coaches and the physiologists here, we can really try and refine a training program that will be best placed then for their races. And I think today has taught me a few things which I can take away and build into the next training cycle and in the next event and hopefully go faster. Mm -hmm.